Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, today's video. Should be a fun one. Uh, short, but fun. So last week, uh, Clay messaged me and said, hey, the advanced copy of the uh, a bus has arrived. Would you like to see it? And I was like, nah, I'd rather be surprised. Just whenever it shows up, that's fine. No big deal. Or truthfully, I was like, heck yeah, I want to see it. Send it to me and I'll do an unboxing. I I'm stoked because I imagine other people are as well. So uh, instead of watching me drink tea, I figure you guys want to get into it. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? All right. Let's do this, shall we? All right. So there we go. The Now, to be clear, I do want to explain to you guys here that the 20th anniversary edition, as shown here, this is not that. This is not the deluxe edition. Okay, the box I believe is, but the rest of it is not. So keep that in mind. Okay, this is the uh, retail edition, I think is what Clay said. And I saw him here at the beginning of chat. I know he's in there somewhere. So he can come in and clarify if I'm wrong on this. So just to be clear, this is the retail regular standard edition minus the whole box thing here. So there you go. So figure we'll start with the, the sides of the box. There. Here, we'll... We're going to be zooming in and out, so I had to turn the autofocus on since I'm going to be doing that. So there you go. Wow, that's really dark. What is up with that? Let's fix that, shall we? There we go. It's a little bit better. Now it's going to be too bright when I zoom out, but that's all right. So it gives you an idea. All right. Oh, sorry, Clay. He's the one who runs, uh, runs Capstone Games. For those that don't know, I apologize. So there we go. Other side there, other side there, and ironically, people were excited about it being a blank back of the box, so it looks like that's what it is. So, hey, there you go. So, there we go. All right. It's a thick box, too. There we go. So, it is... As you can hear, it is definitely a thick, uh, thick lid. And if you guys can't see this, I hope it shows. Oh yeah, you can see that it's, it's uh, that um, uh, UV printing on the bus part and the clock. You see that? You can see where it's reflecting the lights. Right there, you go. But it's not on the hole. It's just on the clock and the bus. All right. Oh, got you, giraffe. All right. So, all right. This is my little note from Clay. Outside of Ashley and the kids, you mean the world to me. I miss you. Be well. I can't wait to see your loving face at Essen. Enjoy, Clay. No, not really. That's not what it said, but we'll go with it. He says, the only thing anniversary edition with this copy is the box. Um, the rest will come after Essen. Hope you enjoy the new graphic design. Enjoy, Clay. There you go. Okay. I know. Of course I left the note in there. All right. So we'll start out with the rule book. All right. So, yeah, there we go. All right. So timetable and route map, October 1999, City Transit Authority. I do have a bone to pick with one thing about this, Clay. The fact that there's no Davis Avenue in here. I'm just saying, or Boulevard. Could have been. Could have been. It was a missed opportunity. All right. So here we go. It says start here and runs through the rules there. It is a quad fold out. Okay, kind of like a, a bus route, you know, type thing. Okay, and then the other side. So there you go. That is, and I'll zoom in on like one section of it so you guys can get a good idea on that. There you go. Okay. So there you go. Um, gives the credits and everything down here, tested by a whole bunch of folks. There we go. All right. So that is the rule book. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this was a nice touch. I haven't opened these yet, so I assume they're plastic. Yeah. They're plastic bags in player colors.
I haven't seen that in any other game. I appreciated that. That was that was pretty cool. So there you go. Okay. Uh, what do y'all want to start with? Let's start. Uh, come on, you guys. I know you want to see the the board. So let's start with the board, shall we? All right. And there it is. They spared no expense on the graphic design, as you can see here. Wow, that brightness went way too high. Sorry about that. Let me turn that down now. Hey, that's a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, you, uh, you definitely went the extra mile on this, Clay. Well done. Well done. It looks great. There, although, I got to say, there's a hole. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a hole in the board. See it right there? That's weird, huh? All right, I'll stop playing around. Fine. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That is bus in all of its glory right there. Um, all the street names are named various things, right? We have Imperial Parkway, Luxor Lane, Pennybags Lane, Downman Street, Stealth Duck Road, Strategy Street. Uh, let's see, Wildcatter Avenue. Hmm, wonder where that came from. Avalon Hill Overpass, Mayfair Lane, Baltimore and Ohio Road, Boston and Main Road, Lookout Lane, Gage Road, Steam Street, Whistle Street, Cooperative Lane, Pipe Lane, Union Street, Way Pass. Oh, that was a nice touch. I appreciated that one. Uh, Express Road, Love Street, Yellow Brick Road. No Davis. No Davis. No Davis Avenue. Alrighty. All right. There we go. Oh, uh, 82nd Street and Boats Road. Climber Street. You get the idea. Okay. Then over here on this side, you have the line expansion, right? This is for actually uh, laying out your bus route. These are for the buses in your various player colors uh, for putting out passengers, then putting out buildings. And then this, where that hole is, it's a spinner but it's not a spinner, it's just on here to signify which of the locations passengers are going to be going to. Then Vroom, which is actually delivering passengers, and then Start Player down there at the bottom. Then uh, it's color-coded. Um, I'm going to actually zoom in on this because, I mean, it's an unboxing, so you guys should see this. There we go. And I want to be able to get the one in there. Now it's too dark. Grrr. Sorry about this, guys finicky camera today. There we go. All right. So you can see that phase one is kind of that aqua blue color. So the one is color coded along with the number one. You have phase two, which is going to be uh, in kind of the, the kind of pinkish purple. Phase three going to be kind of a whitish. Uh, are there any threes? Yeah, there's threes on there. You can see those right there and there. And then the four is going to be the yellow color right there. Okay. It's a map of the city of David. Well, well, well played. All right, so there you go. That is, oh, and the, uh, and the victory point track is over on this side, goes 1 to 20 over here, as you can see there. Okay. All right, so that is the board. So now, since we'll go ahead and start out with a couple of the things that are there on the board. Um, let me show you guys this. Yeah, let me break. It's on, in a tiny little bag right here. There is that. And where is the piece? Oh, it's a punch out. Right. Might as well start with those, I suppose. So these come in a handy dandy little uh, pouch. You know, a little cellophane pouch, as you can see. The punch boards, all clearly different colors between them. You have the first player marker there, which it has a little standee. As you can see, a little standee, little thingy. And then... Right here is the arrow for this guy over here and, you know, has your typical spinner, holder, plastic thingamajobber piece right there, okay? All right, so there's that. There's the punch, uh, punch pieces. I suppose I could go ahead and open this up and punch one of them so you guys can see how easily this punches out. So a little cellophane. Not going to pull the whole thing out. You know what? Let's go ahead and put the spinner on. That'll work. It'd be easy enough so yeah I lied we will do the whole thing so oh wow that came out really easy there you go and 
Yeah. Oh, and they're thick. Can you guys? Yeah, you can see how thick those are. So, and they show up really well, like, there you go, very clear. Here, I actually, I'll throw three of them out there so you can see the different colors. That probably makes the most sense. There you go. So you can see what it looks like here with the numbers. It's funny, I'm using the mouse, like you guys can see that. There, yeah, too much. Okay, so you have the regular color, you have the bar, you have work, and you have home. So, all right. Do you have to take the spinner out when you pack up the board? No, Mohammed, I can't imagine you would. Um, let's go ahead and throw that bad boy on. So we'll put the bottom part of the spinner in. <laughs> There, put that there, and ah. all right, hold on. I'm gonna have to force it off camera a minute. And now, now it's not cooperating. Oh, there we go, got it through. I just, I was pushing way harder than it needed, my bad. So we have that, we have the spinner on, and Oh, for the love of all that's good and holy. There we go. So. And to answer your question about that, you'll notice one thing I want to show is this sits nearly flush back here. So when this folds over like that, it's flush in here and there's no gap. So the spin, you, there you go. I didn't push the spinner all the way in. You can see that little gap but you can see that the back of it is completely flush and it's not gonna mess with your board. Plus, it's on the back side either way, so, but it's not going to. So that, that was a nice attention to detail. I appreciated that. All right, so now that we have that in, let's go ahead and break out the other components and uh, we'll, we'll walk through some of this stuff. So we have player pieces. There we go, okay. Um, they're cylinders, so they will roll. Keep that. All right. Um, so they'll go out here, but they're, they're big enough easily to grab, so that's nice. I don't think I need to break out all the different colors, but it, I suppose I will, might as well. Just to show what they look like next to one another, I suppose that's, that's a good thing. So, are any of you guys, or well, mostly guys, actually, yeah, are any of you guys colorblind out there? If so, I'm curious to see how this, uh, how this looks to you guys. So we have that. We have also the routes or the sticks. Okay, and these are, if you're familiar with the other one, um, the original edition, they're just like that. They're just good little sticks that. They look like so on the route. There you go. Yeah, those look good. They fit well. That looks good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to throw that back in. All right. Let's see. What else? Oh, these are nice. The screen printing on the, uh, on the, on the um, victory point markers. Let's move this bad boy over so I can show you this. I like the lowercase b. Hold on, I'm just going to make this appropriate for about how the, our games normally end up there, okay? Sound about right? So those look good. Those look really nice, okay? Okay, Bill. Bill says uh, yeah, he's colorblind, so there you go. Um, check it out. So, yeah, uh, good teacher there, just winning up there. There you go. So, yeah, I'm curious. How, how did the, I imagine the, the red and green, maybe. I know there are different types of colorblind. I, I understand. Then we have the buses in player colors. Okay. 
They're good colors. Normally blue purple can be an issue, but not here. Red green isn't great, but not terrible either. Okay. All right. So that gives you an idea. So I'm going to zoom in here for the buses. So you guys on a stream, uh, I wouldn't raise any issue with it. Okay. All right. Good to know. So you guys, oh, I'll throw a blue out there. Yeah. Very funny, Anthony. Uh, Anthony's got jokes. All right. So you can see the, the bus pieces and in correlation to my fingers and everything else, right? The, the disc. So normally they would be up like this. If you're playing, if you're on stream, they'll lay down like that. So this is what they would look like here. So you have a blue one. We'll mix and match it a little bit. So you can see what they look like standing up normally and then laying down like so. Okay. Okay, good to hear, Vince. Cool. Okay. And uh, the last two pieces are the passengers, which look identical to the original edition. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this, that's what they look like standing up. And this is what they look like laying down and in relation to the other pieces so like if you were to have them out here where they normally would be you know how you'd be able to place some so if you want to have them standing up or standing up on say at the bar and they've been delivered there or you could do like what we did on the stream you could have them pointing towards the center like that, and here, there's still plenty of room either way you want to do it. Obviously, y'all aren't streaming, so there's that. And then last but not least, we have uh, the time tokens, which are these cool little, like, they look like old school marbles that have been squashed, right? So, little gems. There we go, and their color, coated with the areas here. So you have blue, green, blue, green, blue. There we go, to give you an idea. Hey, Raynal, and uh, I don't know, uh, bus is not the game I would pull out with, with two players. I don't know if it does, but there you go. Okay. Cool, there we go. So that, folks, is the new retail edition of Bus. I love that the player pieces, or the player bags and player colors there. There we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. All right, so uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope this either gets you excited for your copy that you may have coming, or if you are on the fence, fence hopefully this helps, uh, helps you guys make a decision one way or the other, just on a graphic design and everything else. So there you go, that is the 20th anniversary retail edition of Bus. Uh, so the reason Clay told me he didn't want me to unveil the anniversary edition, honestly, is he wants that to be a surprise for you guys and for me as well. So I appreciate that. I'm cool with it. So there you go. All right. Cool. All right. I will be back tomorrow with the Ask the Elephant. If you can join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the Ask the Elephant, come with your questions. If not, you can head over to BGG. Guild number 2044, I'm going to be putting up a thread there for the Ask the Elephant, so feel free to ask any question there, and I'll try and touch on it uh, during the Ask the Elephant. And if you're a member of the herd, the 766 of y'all out there, I will also be posting a thread over in Slack. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them there. If you're going to be on, or if you're going to join me live for the Ask the Elephant tomorrow, then just go ahead and ask your questions then. So there you go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to Clay over at Capstone for uh, sending this to me so I can show it to y'all. I'm excited about it. Hopefully, y'all are as well. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, pledge HC, the whole nine yards for supporting the show.
Thanks, y'all. Take care.